one of the guys decided not to show up to work today. So we have a replacement coming. So I'm probably gonna wait till everybody else gets here. One of the guys decided not to show up to work today. So we have a replacement coming. Uh, the machine looks like it wasn't maintained. So now we're uh, gonna try to clean out the, the bulb and put some grease in it. Hopefully get it back in working order. If not, we're gonna have to go uh, float another machine here. This is uh, excavation for the wall. We're about halfway done on it. We have a bin pickup coming at 11. The stone's coming at 12. And then we're gonna start setting this and bring the gravel in. I'm just uh, setting the height on the zip level so these guys can excavate to the proper height while I'm gone making a dump run. So here I set it to zero. Here if you raise it up, you have not enough. So this actually has to go down a little bit over here though. So I'm gonna actually just set it over here. Zero it out. This is gonna be our finishing height. And we want uh, to go down at least nine inches, two inches for the stone, six inches for the base, one inch for the bedding. This thing's kind of cool. You can just move it around and it'll tell you exactly where you need to be. So here we are. We are four inches. So we got to excavate here, 13 inches down. So I'm going to keep excavating while they load the bin. Then I'm going to go make the dump run, get a grease gun while they excavate this by hand. So we got uh, 64 linear feet of armor stone wall going in the backyard with 2,700 square feet of paper patio, including the driveway. So it's gonna be, I'm estimating around a three week project, maybe sooner if we work fast. Lots of dirt, lots of base, lots of noise. So far it's not bad, uh, little roadblocks, there's some like rebar into the ground legs five feet deep, it's kind of hard to get out. The machine needs to be maintained a little bit and uh, this bin needs to get the f out of here.